I can't code, but I just built a WordPress website in less than 10 minutes as a complete beginner. I'm gonna teach you how to do this using a tool called 10web.io. And in a few simple clicks, you too can have a website. But it's not quite that simple. There are two options when it comes to using this tool and building a website. One of these options is a lot faster than the other, whilst the other option does give you more detail when it comes to creating your website and a much wider range of options. I'm gonna walk you through both of these in this video, show you the tips, tricks, and the pitfalls to avoid when using this amazing tool. So this is 10web.io. As you can see, automated website builder, but not just that, it is also going to do things like fix your page speed, it's gonna do the SEO for you, and even sort out the hosting. So you really won't need a developer at all, and you can do this as a complete beginner. All you need to do is click on Get Started for free. It will just ask you for an email address, password, really simple. You might need to enter in a credit card, which I did, but I always just set myself a reminder for seven days to cancel it if I don't enjoy the software, but I'm still a subscriber because I think it's fantastic. A quick side note, I'm not getting paid for this. I just really think it's a phenomenal bit of kit that you should be using. You can use this, of course, to spin up new businesses, landing pages, product pages, all sorts of things to use in your marketing efforts. So I'm gonna walk you through the first way to create a website on 10web. So what it's gonna do is we click on just create a website. Let's come up with a new business. It's gonna be for marketing freelancers. So it's gonna be for marketing freelancers. And as you can see, you choose a location for your data center. I always just choose one in London where I am. Um, it comes up with this subdomain, so you can choose whatever you want. Let's just put marketing. And then if you have a domain, you can get that set up as well. I've already got my admin credentials in here but you would just put in a username and a password. Then you just press create. And what it's gonna do is first set up the hosting for you. Then it's going to install WordPress and then it will finalize this installation and creation for you. The next steps are going to be to actually tell the website builder the design and the theme that we want to use. Okay, so we skipped ahead a couple of minutes. That's all it takes. And you can see it has now set up a super fast website here on the hosting. So we'll just go ahead and we'll click great. So we click on manage and what it's gonna do is open up this website that we have created. So in order to go ahead and create the actual website pages and the content, what you're gonna do is click on AI Builder. So we have a couple options when you click on add page. Uh, so you have AI recreation, you then have pre-made pages and we have blank page. So we're gonna come back to this AI recreation. That's gonna be part two. The first thing we're gonna do is actually click up here where it says generate with AI. So this is the best feature in terms of generating the pages with some simple inputs. I'm not sure why it's not listed when you press add page, it's a little bit hidden. So that's the first tip. Now, we're gonna say what the business type is. So we're gonna go with digital agency. Then we're gonna go ahead and press next. And then it's gonna come up with a few options for us. So we've got, you know, three options here. You can decide which you like the most. I'm gonna go with this first option. So what I do is just click on that. Again, we go ahead and press next. So we need to come up with the company name. Uh, so let's imagine I'm setting up a Twitter ads agency. So I'm gonna call my company Tweet Tweet. I'm going to say we are a Twitter ads agency designed to help Customers get great results from their Twitter advertising. And the more detail that you put in this box, the better the website is gonna be when it gets generated. Uh, this is just a quick example, so I'm not gonna go into huge depth there, but if I were you, I would put a lot more detail into that. Then you're gonna go ahead and press next again. Next, you're gonna come up with the services and the features. So I'm gonna say creating ad copy, creating ad images, and then managing 
to put uh, advertising. So these are the services. We'll update that to Twitter. So it's really clear. Press next again. And then you can enter in, you know, an email address if you already have one, phone number, company address if you have a physical location, um, and then go ahead and press next. And then you can choose the tone of voice of your content. So do you want it to be really formal, informal? I've gone for informal. Then I'm going to go ahead and press finalize. And that, of course, is then going to build the website for me with content. So you can see it's going through, it's generating the text, it's generating the images. Now it comes up and says, congrats, your website was successfully generated. So now we click preview and edit. So it's gonna load this first version of the website that it has created. Okay, so here we have it. You can see it has created a Tweet Boost, your Twitter ad experts get the most out of your Twitter advertising with Tweet Tweet, the agency that helps you achieve great results. Really good. You know, it's given us some ratings here. Of course, we would need um, to change many of those things. You know, tweet for success with us, tweet where the ad images, it's even created all of the images. Features, you know, it's created for us. The benefits, our team, you know, of course we would have to go ahead and change that. And then you can sign up, you know, subscribe to the newsletter. So this is a really good website that with a few tweaks, you would be ready to use, um, of course. And it's as simple as, you know, you would just change the name in here to someone else. You can just highlight the text and say, I am a director. You know, it's really quick and simple. Again, it's the same with the images. You would just click on the image and then you can go ahead and replace it. So really cool. You are a little bit limited with this version of the AI creator, which is why I'm now going to show you the second way to generate a website using this feature and the way that personally I would do it. So the second way to build a website using 10web.io, you click on add page, but what you're gonna do is click on this AI recreation. And what you're gonna do is insert the page title. So it only lets you you do this for individual pages it won't just recreate an entire website what you can do is say I like the style of this particular website can you create a page that looks like that in terms of design so let's call this you know home page and then what we do is we pop in a link a URL from another website that we really like so I'm going to use this one joinhampton.com I think it looks really nice so you go ahead and click on recreate and what it's going to do is it's going to recreate create the layout. It's then going to add the design elements. It's going to add the finishing touches and then finish it off. So in a few minutes, this will be done for us. So as you can see, we're now ready to preview and edit this page that has been generated for us based on the URL that we provided to Penweb. Again, it's going to load it up with Elementor, which as you saw just means you can drag and drop. You can just click and edit things really simply. And so here we have it. So what it's done is it's gone ahead and taken the design elements of that website that we really liked, and then it's gone ahead and copied it and put it in here. So again, of course, the goal with this is not to plagiarize, it's not to directly copy something, it's just to use it as a jumping off point and save time initially and say, oh, I really like the design of that, let's do something similar. So as you can see, it's had a few issues here, it's kind of overlapped, you know, a few images, but that's easy to fix. And again, you can then just go through, you can edit all of these different items you know, and customize each single one. You've got these containers here that you can go in and change all of the writing. So again, just double click and you can change the writing there. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, which shows you how to use the 10 web IO tool. I think this is incredible for generating landing pages. It's going to supercharge your marketing. And even if you don't end up using this website as the final product, it gives you that first step that you could then hire a developer and say, can you make a couple of tweaks for me and it's going to save you a huge amount of money and most importantly time if you would like help with your marketing do check out some of the links down below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video